All right, so I didn't plan on making this on my phone, but my camera batteries are all dead and I can't get my streaming camera to record for some reason, so whatever. <laughs> first things first, this is a doozy, so buckle up, it's a long one. But first off, I'll do the TLDR. <laughs> so long story short, I have a crosshair, or I had a Crosshair Hero 8 motherboard. It fried my RAM and fried the motherboard itself. So, and this is what licensed technicians are saying. So it's not just me and whatever, it's licensed techs saying this. So this is happening under a year. Under a year this happened. Yeah, this happened under a year of owning it. So I'm not too pleased because this, this is not the first time this has happened with an ASUS board with me, so whatever. Anyways, fine, I RMA it, I send it out to ASUS, and they send me one back. Two weeks of no updates, no nothing, they just all of a sudden they sent me one, okay? I go pick it up, on the box it says, replaced, new, due to blah 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 policy, whatever. Okay, cool, <laughs> I got a new motherboard. They didn't bother fixing it because it's too far gone, they gave me a new one. Sweet, right? Wrong. They sent me a fucking used one, and it's fucking worse. It will not boot with my chip, and it's obviously been used because under the M.2 drive, there's a little uh, cover with thermal padding on it. Yeah, there's a bunch of like, food and shit stuck on it. Like, it's disgusting. Pretty fucked up. Does not boot with my 3900X. This is, this is a $500 motherboard, Canadian. This is bullshit. Oh, by the way, it does it does boot with a lower end chip. So, you know, if I went, you know, with a shittier chip or not shittier, but just a, a cheaper chip, it would work. But like, I stream. I need like I I paid for it. It's compatible. I like obviously that's not an option. Why would I downgrade and spend more money to downgrade? You know what I mean? Anyways, so fine. I call them on the phone for an hour with them fighting with them and I know like I shouldn't be too mad at the customer service reps whatever it's their job they're just following the rules and that's fine I get that but I was I was pissed an hour of fighting and they refused to send me a new board they absolutely refused to send me a new board because it's against policy all they can do is either repair it or send me another one under what's called advanced replacement which basically means here's a used motherboard we tested with a shitty chip good luck bud like, I'm not waiting two fucking weeks for another used board. I fought with them, talked to the supervisor, they refuse. So I literally told them, fuck this, fuck this. I'm never buying another one of your products again. So that's the two LT, <laughs> that's the two long didn't read version of it. There's a lot more to it that made me really pissed off. So from here on out, I'll be talking about all that. So if you want to stick around, awesome. But all I'm going to say right now is don't buy Asus. Their quality is just garbage right now. Their customer service is atrocious. I don't recommend buying Asus. And I'm not the only guy. Like, I was at the computer shop, and the guy behind me said, I'm having the exact same issue. Fried my RAM, fried my board. That's why I'm here building a new computer. Pathetic. They won't help. They won't do anything. And after this, I think it's unacceptable that they want to send me a used board again. Like, unacceptable. Unacceptable when this is the second Asus board that has fried my RAM and fried the fucking motherboard. Absolutely unacceptable. But anyways, here and out, I'm gonna explain the entire thing and why like it got me to the boiling point. So strap in and I hope you enjoy. The long version goes, holy shit. This has been two months. Two months this has been going on for. To be fair, it's not. I've been out of computer for two months but I've been out of a properly working computer for two months. Like, most of you know what it looks like. If not, here's a picture. It's not a cheap rig. I've spent a lot of money on it. A lot of money on this thing. I don't need to spend this much, no. I understand that, but it's a hobby and it's an awesome passion of mine. I love it. I love it. And I don't mind spending the money when shit works. But anyways, two months, games were crashing, my computer was crashing, everything just kept crashing. And I was like, I didn't want to take it into a service center because I'm tired of lugging that thing around. It is massive, it weighs a ton. So, I fucked with it, blah blah blah, thought I fixed it, didn't work. Uh, to save a whole bunch of garbage, it just, I, I ended up taking it in. I didn't take it to the same place I took it to now. That's very important because 
I took it to a place. They promised me it's it's a long wait. They told me up front it's a long wait. It would be up to two weeks. But they will have it looked at within two weeks. Okay. I get it. COVID. Pandemic. So can I say that? I don't know. Pandemic. I get it. Fine. They write that everything down. Blah, 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 blah. Send it in. Two weeks later, nothing. Not a call. So I call them. I'm like, hey, just wondering. Oh, yeah, you're next in line. You're next in line. Okay. All right, cool. Fair enough. A week passes. Nothing. I'm like, okay. Hey, I'm just checking in. Oh, yeah, there's a couple ahead of you. I'm like, excuse me? No, no, no. Last time, I was told I was next in line. And they're like, well, yeah, but, uh, you know, blah, 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 priority sequence, blah, 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 blah. They paid. So you're fucking telling me that because they paid more? That's it. Like, how am I supposed to get a warranty? Like, it's, it's literally boiled down to paying for a warranty. And I have a custom-built PC. Like, how... Like, there's no way I can do that. And you didn't even tell me. Like, if I could have paid an extra couple of bucks to fucking bump in front... Like, people can literally just keep jumping in front of me. If somebody with priority comes in, no, no, fuck that guy's PC. Fuck that fucking three to $4,000 PC. Fuck that guy. Right? <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? No. Fuck that. Give me a refund. I'm taking it back. Took it back. Tried it out for a couple of days. Hell, it's work. It's kind of work. Ah, uh, no, it's not working. Why would it work? Why the fuck would it work? Pfft, nothing got fixed. Nothing got looked at. Didn't even look at it. Didn't even know it was wrong. So it's not the employee's fault. I know that. It's their fucking store policy, which is bullshit. Like, I understand having a priority sequence, but for fuck's sakes, tell me. No one told me this. Like, I'm not waiting a fucking month. This is bullshit. Anyways, after a month of that bullshit, I took it to the other store. Within two days, two, three days, roughly. Yeah, they knew exactly what was wrong. And guess what? It was the motherboard and RAM. Again. So here's the kicker. Um, I should grab the box, but I don't think it's really that big a difference. It was an X370 chipset Asus board. So it was the 5 or 6, I believe, with a 1700X in it. So it wasn't as high end, but whatever. Same thing happened. I think it was a little over a little over a year. I fried my RAM. <laughs> it was crashing, doing everything it did now. So I was like, okay, this is bullshit. What the fuck? Take it in. Yeah, it's a motherboard and RAM. So the board fried the RAM and it fried itself somehow. I don't understand how. So I took it in. They said, yeah, blah, blah, blah. They... They get they covered the board and all that shit, blah blah blah. So I'm like, okay, that's not. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna hire uh, higher up. Give me a higher end board. And I'll pay the difference. So I spent the difference, which is a few hundred dollars, on an Asus Crosshair Eight Wi-Fi. Yeah, I think that's eight, right? Five, six, seven. Yeah, three eyes. I don't know Roman numerals. I'm dumb. Anyways, I got the eight. Everything's fantastic. And then literally almost. A year to the day that I purchased it, it starts crapping out again. I'm like, what the fuck? Why? Why can I never have a fucking working PC here? I spent the money. I should have something that's capable of fucking doing what I want. And so obviously, then you know that story. Same thing. So obviously, I am livid at this point. This is a $500 motherboard. This is a top-of-the-line motherboard. This is unacceptable to happen twice with the same product brand. How is that acceptable? Whatever. So I went through that RMA bullshit and I waited for a used shitty board, which didn't fix anything. It made things worse. At least the other one could run. This one wouldn't even fucking post. So like there was a lot of build up to that. And I've been and th and the problem is too during that time trying to contact Asus tech support, the RAM tech support. Because they didn't cover the RAM that their motherboard broke. No, no, no. I had to deal with that. And because of COVID, I can't ship anything to the States. Or at least at the time, I couldn't. And for $130 worth of RAM, I'm not really going to worry too much about it. It sucks. I'm going to hope Asus replaces it. Because I told them specifically, like, the motherboard fried the RAM. The there was a power delivery issue. That's exactly what the technician said. There's a power delivery issue to the RAM. Which means it's being overvolted, like, way too much enough to fucking destroy the RAM. No, they didn't cover that. They didn't offer to cover that. Absolutely nothing. They did nothing about it. Absolutely nothing. So I have to pay out of pocket. And then they're going to tell me, no, I'm not going to give you a new board. You can go fuck yourself. Like, seriously. 
Like, I, I, I'm sorry. When I buy a product with a three-year warranty, there's a three-year warranty on that board, and you're just going to keep sending me huge shit, and this is like the fucking playing the lottery, hope you get a good enough one that'll work. One that's potential, and I get one that's like literally worse than mine. There's still the potential to get a board that is worse than mine. Like, are you kidding me, dude? That is horseshit. So, this is just a fucking rant saying, fuck Asus. Fuck you guys. You absolutely did nothing. Did nothing to help. And once consumers pay a stupid overpriced, yes, it's very overpriced for a board, pay an overpriced fucking markup for a board, like, you don't need to pay 500 Canadian dollars for a motherboard to get what you need done. You don't. And I found that out, obviously. You don't need that. But I wanted all the features. There was a lot of features that I really liked. But obviously, the features don't mean shit if it doesn't work. If I have to change my motherboard every year. I'm not, like, fuck you guys. Like, I just, I'm so astounded. I have never bought a product with a, with a warranty that they refuse to send you a new one for. You know, what I, you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. I understand wanting to repair it to save some money. That, like, that makes sense. But if it's beyond repair, and you send me a used board that doesn't work, the next step in that process would be to send me a new board. I understand even not sending me a new board right off the bat. Because if you test that and it worked with a lower-end chip... You expect it to work fine. But it didn't. That's the thing. You send me another a used board that's broken and you refuse to send me a new board after that. They, you just tell me, no, there's no way we can do that. We're not going to help. They, they're literally telling me they're not going to help me. And I was, used to be the biggest Asus fanboy too. I loved their products because I thought, you know, hey, I haven't had that many issues. Oh, the first time was a fluke. Whatever. It happens. I understand how that shit works. Like, it's a fluke. Whatever. No, it turns out it's not a fluke. It's an actual issue. Because like I said, the guy behind me at Canada Computers said the same thing. His Asus board fried his RAM. So this whole rant is to say, fuck Asus. Do not buy their products. Absolutely... I am absolutely appalled that I just can't believe that even even the technicians at Canada computers they said the same thing they're like wow they're really just trying to cut corners nowadays because that no you absolutely absolutely deserve a new board after all this bullshit that is completely unfair there is no reason like this this is an exact circumstance where you should just they should just cut their losses and say hey we're really sorry you're having such this issue, like such a bad issue with our product. We're gonna send you a brand new one, and let like you know, hopefully, repair the um, the consumer and whatever relation. I don't know. <laughs> I can't. I'm flustered. I can't think right. So, you, you know what I mean? It just it's bad business. It really, really is. Like as you guys know, I I'm a mechanic. I manage the place. Like if we get a bad part. I'm not going to say, well, hold on, let me go find one at a scrapyard or some shit. No. It's like, wow, that's, I'm really sorry about that. We're going to get you a new one right away. And we, we had to do that. We, like a very, pretty expensive muffler. About the same, if not more than that motherboard. It was defective from factory. We called up our supplier. We told them, hey, it's defective. They're like, okay, yeah, we'll send you a new one, right? Like they sent us a new one. We told the lady, we really apologize I'm so sorry for the inconvenience, but whenever you can come back, we'll just toss it on and you're good to go. Like, it'll take like 30 minutes or so. And we did it. Done. She was happy. We're happy. Everybody's happy. Relations are great. It's great. Everything's, everything's fucking dandy. But no. Asus doesn't want to do that. So, again, just... I feel like I'm just bitching and moaning, and I, I just don't want to come across as just a whiny little shit. But, like, it's just... It's not... It's not right. That's not how you're supposed to handle business. Not at all. So do not buy Asus. Do not support their product. Because obviously this is this is just a common issue at this point, And they refuse to do anything positive to change that. They don't, they don't want to change that. They don't care. They just don't give a shit. They're cutting corners at every fucking point they can. And it's just a shame. Because like I literally, I had to go out, spend my own money on a motherboard and my own money on RAM. After all. Two months of bullshit. Like, I'm not famous on Twitch, YouTube, but I still make a couple of bucks on the side. 
You know, it still helps me pay for new games I want to play and stuff like that. It's still side side money. You know what I mean? Like, in the middle of a pandemic where everyone's trying to stay home and do their best to help, you know, the spread. And they just don't care. So, sorry about the long video, but I really, really need to get that message across. Like, and here, 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 one more point, one more point. Like I said, it's very overpriced. Very. 500 Canadian dollars for that board. I got a new board with the same chipset, basically the same features, VRM cooling, hot, more than high-end enough for what I need to do. Excuse me. And it cost half. Half. It was on sale, but even still, not on sale, it's 300 Canadian dollars. I got it on sale, taxes in $271. So when I can get the same type of product with the same, basically the same capabilities and same, well, same feature set, basically, for a fraction of the cost. Like, come on, guys, seriously. Get your head out of your ass and fix your shit. Until then, you know, I don't even know about after then. I don't even want to buy your products anymore because I just, that's just wrong. So anyways, I really apologize for the long video, the long rant, but it needed to be said. So guys, please do not support Asus. I don't give a shit. Make it trend on Twitter. Spread it everywhere. Seriously, because that is unacceptable and that's not how you handle business. Please. Hashtag, fuck Asus. <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully my computer will be back here by the time I upload this. And we'll be back on schedule. Might take a day or two. It depends on what happens. I don't know if I have to... Hopefully I don't lose everything on my hard drives because I changing parts in Windows is being weird. But uh, regardless, I will keep you guys updated in the Discord. Let you guys know what's going on. So as soon as I'm ready... We'll be back in action very soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you'll have a great day. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.